Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have x plus y equals to 5 and x y equals to 50 and we solve this problem for the values of x and y. So here the very first step we are going to do is here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. So now first we focus on equation number 1 and our equation number 1 is implies that here we move this x to the right hand side so we get the value of y equals to 5 minus x and we call this is our equation number 3. So now we substitute this value of y in equation number 2 so our equation number 2 implies that this is x y and the value of y is 5 minus x is equals to 50. So now in the next step here uh, we need to multiply this x on both of these terms and it is written as 5x minus x square equals to 50. So you see here this is quadratic equation but not in standard form. So now first we convert this equation into the standard form. So we move these two terms to the right hand side. This is negative x square. When we move in the right hand side it is it will becomes plus x square. This is plus 5x when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus 5x and this is already placed in right hand side it is positive 50 equals to 0. So now this equation will become a standard form in x variable so here we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation or you uh, also solve this problem by factorization method. Here we easily make the factors of this equation. So here we need any two numbers whose product is 50 and when we add or subtract these two numbers then we get here minus 5. So these two numbers are minus 10 multiplied by 5. So now we solve this problem by using the quadratic formula. So here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 5 and c equals to 50. So we uh, know about the quadratic formula. It is stated as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c here. So we have the value of b is minus 5 plus minus square root of b square. So b is minus 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 50 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1. So uh, in the next step we have this is minus times of minus becomes here plus 5 plus minus uh, square root of minus 5 square equals to 25 and 4 times of 50 is equals to 200 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is 2. So here uh, when we subtract 25 by minus 200 it is equals to 5 plus minus square root of minus 175 divided by 2. So here we uh, further uh, simplify this equation. So here we write this expression into the simplified form and now uh, here we, we just find the prime factors of 175. And here first we divided by 7, 5 and we have 5 3 is a 15 and carry 2, 5 5 is a 25 and 5 7 is a 35 and 7 1 is a 7. So uh, here uh, we have 175 is written as 5 plus minus as square root of 5 times of 5 times of 7 and we separate the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So here we have 5 plus minus so when we move this pair outside the square root it will becomes 1 5 into square root of 7 and we know that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota this is divided by 2. So these are the two complex values of x and now from these two values of x uh, here we find the corresponding values of y. 
so that in order to find the values of y here first we write these two values here uh, x is equals to 5 plus 5 into square root of 7 divided by 2 into iota and the second value is x is equals to 5 minus 5 into square root of 7 iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the two values of x and now we uh, implies our equation number 3. So our equation number 3 is y equals to 5 minus x. So now we substitute uh, above two values of x in this equation and we easily get the value of y. So first we put this value of x here and it is written as 5 minus 5 plus 5 into square root of 7 iota and it is divided by 2. So uh, here we need simplify of this equation and here we take the LCM of this equation is 2. So we have 2 5 is a 10 minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get 5 plus 5 into square root of 7 iota. So here we need simplification and we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and it is written as 10 minus 5 minus 5 into square root of 7 iota and it is divided by 2. So here we have 10 minus 5 becomes 5 minus 5 into square root of 7 iota and it is divided by 2. So this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is equals to this okay so uh, we have the first solution of the given equation is right in this form x y is equals to 5 plus 5 into square root of 7 iota divided by 2 and the value of y is 5 minus 5 square root of 7 divided by 2 so this is the first solution which we get from uh, the first value of x and now again we substitute this value of x here uh, and when we put this value of x here it is written as uh, in this form and so we write it here now y equals to 5 minus x and here we substitute the second value of x and the second value of x is 5 minus 5 into square root of 7 iota divided by 2. So uh, here we again take the LCM of this equation and its LCM is 2 and we have 2 5s are 10 and here we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it is written as minus 5 plus 5 into square root of 7 iota. So here we have 10 minus 5 is 5 plus 5 into square root of 7 iota and it is divided by 2. So this is the uh, value of uh, y corresponding to the value of uh, x is this one okay so uh, here we have the second solution of the given equation is x y equals to uh, 5 minus 5 into square root of 7 iota divided by 2 and the value of y is 5 plus 5 into square root of 7 iota divided by 2. So this is the uh, second solution. This is the first solution of the given equation. And this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.